This video is part of a series describing the AEMC DataView data analysis program. DataView enables you to download recorded data from your AEMC instrument and display that data in a variety of ways on your PC. In this video, we introduce you to the DataView user interface and how you can use it to access the program's data analysis configuration features. After you install DataView, the DataView icon appears on your desktop. This opens the core DataView program. The installation process also places one or more control panel icons on your desktop. Each AEMC instrument family has its own dedicated control panel. You select the appropriate control panel or panels during DataView installation. In our example shown here, we have installed the control panel for the AEMC Power and Energy Logger or PEL instrument. In general, core data view features are for creating, viewing, editing, and storing data view reports, while the control panel is for connecting to, configuring, and downloading data from your AEMC instrument. You can access all data view features through either the data view icon or the control panel icon. For users who interact with a single type of AEMC instrument, we recommend primarily using the control panel. However, there are situations where using the core data view icon may be more convenient for some users, such as when viewing multiple archived reports from different AEMC product families. We begin our tour of the data view interface by briefly reviewing the core data view program. Click the data view icon on your desktop. The data view interface appears with the Quick Start dialog box displayed. This dialog is designed to enable you to quickly get underway with a data view session. At the top of the dialog is the instrument box. This contains three options for interacting with the instrument. Configure instrument, real-time display, and download data. If you select any of these options, you are prompted to choose the control panel to use to connect to and interact with your instrument. As we mentioned earlier, core data view features are primarily designed for working with previously recorded data. This data can be stored in a data view database, indicated by the file extension .dvb, or in a data view report, identified by the file extension .dvw. You can open a database or report by clicking Open Data File and selecting the file. A folder interface lets you find and select the appropriate file. You can also view and select recently accessed files from the Open Existing Report field. When data is displayed, the menu bar and command bar at the top of the screen let you select and examine the recorded data. For example, the Zoom Tool option in the Zoom menu enables the Zoom Tool. When this option is selected, the cursor is represented by a magnifying glass icon when positioned on graphical displayed data. This lets you define a region in the graph to zoom into to obtain a close-up view of the data. This and all other features of the data view interface are explained in the online help system that comes with the product. Now let's quickly review a control panel interface. For demonstration purposes, we have installed the control panel for the Power and Energy Logger, or PEL. Click the control panel icon to open it. This frames-based interface is typical for most AEMC control panels. On the left side of the display is the navigation tree frame. As the name implies, this frame enables you to navigate through currently displayed instruments and data. For example, to see a list of all the power and energy logger instruments in the network, click Workstation and then click PEL Network. This displays the three PEL instruments in the network, one of which is currently connected and the other two are disconnected. On the right side of the display is the data frame. The data that appears in this frame depends on the current selection in the navigation frame. For example, 
If you highlight the currently connected PEL in the navigation frame, status information about the instrument appears in the data frame. If you click real-time data under the listed instrument, the data frame displays the readings currently being recorded by the instrument. You can also view recorded data that has been downloaded from the instrument to the PC. For example, click My Open Sessions to display a list of currently downloaded sessions, and then click 1S Harmonics. The data frame displays the downloaded sessions one second harmonics data. Options and buttons at the top of the data frame allow you to view the data in a variety of ways. As with the core data view interface, the control panel includes command and toolbars at the top of the screen. For example, the instrument command includes options for adding and removing instruments from the Appel network, connecting and disconnecting to instruments on the network, and downloading data from an instrument. You can also set configuration options on the instrument. Note that each control panel includes its own help file specific to the control panel options. This concludes our brief introduction to the data view interface. In future videos, we will explain in detail how you can work with each individual data view control panel.